Cause she love the way that we move So she wanna be with my crew Cause she love the way that we do Lighting up the stage, just have a mosh Cinderella, baby, drop the ball with it Some of my dogs, yeah, they dogs with it I be cool and I be raw it's Tuesday. I am back at NBC. I just did the live show. Today was family day, which means the DJs switched their programs. And I got to do the show with Peter Su Sambenim, who is a super, super, super legendary senior of mine. So I was really nervous. <laughs> I don't think I did too well. But, um, I gotta wait for the recording, which is at 11.10. So I am here at the, what do you even call this? Resting place to take a nap. Hopefully I can fall asleep because then I can nap for three hours straight. I, I feel like I'm in like a dorm right now because there are two bunk beds in here. And the only time I had a bunk bed was when I lived in the dorm as a trainee. Here's the bunk bed with a nice view of train tracks. Ugh. All right, time for a nappy. I don't think I fell asleep too deeply, so I was having all these crazy dreams, like someone walked into the room with a gold piggy bank and started to whack me with it. And I think I woke up like snorting, but anyways, gotta record and then I need to get home. Hey guys. Hey guys. Ow, yes, my bones crack like that all the time. Oh, okay, anyways. You may be wondering, what is going on here, Ashley? What is going on? And why do you have that wrapped around your waist? Well, I'm having back and stomach cramps right now because, you know, it's that time of the month. So I got a hot pack on my back. Kind of looks like I'm carrying a baby. I'm prepping myself for the future if I ever do have kids. But anyways, this is what I put on my back or my stomach when I have cramps. It actually works very well. All right, I have some organizing to do. So my cosmetics fridge that I've been using for about six years has finally given up on me. It has stopped working. It hasn't been working for like three weeks now, but I finally decided to change it up. I don't know why it broke. Maybe it's just years of usage. So I got a new cosmetics fridge thanks to my mom who bought it for me for my birthday gift. She asked me if there was anything I needed and I was like, no. And then three weeks later, I was like, actually, my cosmetics fridge just broke. Yeah, thank you, Amma. And I'm also gonna have to pay to throw this out because in Korea, when you throw out stuff that's not recyclable, you have to pay a certain amount. I think for this size, I just have to pay like 4,000 won, so it's not bad. Uh, but you have to receive a number, write it on a piece of paper, stick it on the item that you are going to throw out and leave it outside and the cleaning truck comes to pick it up in like three days. So yeah, it's a little complicated, but I guess it prevents people from just storing stuff out everywhere on the streets. I also changed my vanity. So this half was here and the bottom drawers were here, but I wanted to just combine it because I felt like that would look much more organized and I could use the space on the side for something because it's just a waste of space. Please excuse the mess. I'm gonna bring it in here. It's from a Korean company called Michelle. Not spelled like the way you think it would be spelled. Oh, it's so cold. It's a little smaller than my current fridge, which I wanted. I actually wanted to go even smaller than this. This is a 20 liter one, 
the one below was 15 liters but you could only fit like seven products in there i know a lot of people don't use cosmetics fridge but because i've been using it for six years now i can't live without one it keeps the product fresh for a long time so i just prefer to keep all my products in the fridge and especially products that have vitamin c in it it is important to store them in cool temperature and i don't really want to put them in the same fridge as where my kimchi and all the side dishes are <laughs> i feel like it's gonna make the products smell like food so i just like having a separate fridge for my makeup products so this is what it looks like inside I'm going to disinfect this first Alright, time to move this over to the vanity I can just sit here now and open it up right away and then Power. Cool. Ooh. <gasps> now I gotta clean the rest of this. So I'm back at DA Dermatology today. I came back to get the Bellapax treatment. It's been three weeks. I was actually supposed to come back one week after, but I was so busy I kept postponing and I'm finally here. The Bellapax is something that you're supposed to get consistently to see the results. And I only got it once, so yeah, I'm going to try to get it every week. I'll update you guys after I get it a couple more times. time for the laser almost done my eyebrows are so dark okay. it starts with a look all that it took I feel like I had too much champagne it starts with a touch I'm lost in the rush boy you like bubbles in my brain you're under my skin I'm drinking you in like I can't get enough champagne I have a radio recording today and that's in like 40 minutes, 30 minutes, so I gotta hurry up. <sighs> I'm about to have lunch and I'm going to stir fry kimchi with this sesame oil that my grandma gave me the last time I went to visit her during Chuseok. She kept insisting that I take it home um, and I'm really glad I did. I'm gonna cherish this. I'm gonna use very little. <laughs> Thank you, Harmony. It's way richer than the ones that they sell in the stores because she brought the sesame seed to the actual um, pangakkan. I don't know what that is in English. And had them make this oil for her. It smells really good.
have side dishes from my aunt. I have the stir-fried kimchi, some tuna, and some brown rice. Also, a little update on my LP rack. I've practically run out of room. I recently got a lot of new LPs from my listeners, my brother. I'm like so happy that my collection is growing. But at the same time, I have a new dilemma of what am I going to do with my LPs? Where am I going to put it? So yeah, I'm going to need to find, figure out a new way to store my LPs. But I'm so happy that my collection is growing and growing. Thank you everyone for your contribution to my LP collection. Little Mermaid. I love the Little Mermaid soundtrack. This was from one of our Sound K listeners. I got five new ones. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think? Good morning, guys. I have a Zoom session with my college friends today uh, at 11 a.m. I literally woke up 10 minutes ago. My voice sounds terrible. Hi! Hi! Hi, Hi Ashley's Hi. vlog! <laughs> so I decided to get a mini Christmas tree for my house since my house is too small to fit an actual like six feet tree so I got a really really small one like a 45 centimeter tree because I still wanted to feel the holiday spirit and I love Christmas so I actually found this tree through an Instagram called blooming underscore cine I think I was just like going through interior design and decor shops and I happened to find this through my explore page and I just thought it was really adorable there's a letter in here it tells you how to set the tree up and ornaments really really cute ornaments these are the lights look how small it is it is really tiny I'm excited Okay, which side is going to be the front? Kind of form the tree to make it look good. I think this is going to be the front. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the battery like tomorrow at the convenience store. I'm going to be listening to my Christmas playlist that I made on Spotify. Go check it out if you haven't. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the lights tomorrow. 